Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Beamish today. There's a church over there. That's one of the many different things you can see here. That's the Polkery Wagon Way over there, which I had a trip earlier on behind a replica of Puffing Billy, which we'll probably see just up here. So I came here today for the Eastern Block Car Rally, which um, if you have a look at the link on screen now, that was a video I recently posted. I've spent the whole day exploring the museum, so now I'm just going to do a video to show you some of the best things there is to see here at Beamish. I cannot possibly show you everything because there really is so much to see, but I will show you some of the more interesting things. So, railway wise, there is three railways, or three standard gauge railways, should I say, and a tramway, but the only one running today is this one, the Pockery Wagon Way, which um, we, I had a trip on earlier, as I said. Here is the shed, and um, over there is the replica of the Puffin Billy. So we're going to go and have a look at that. It looks like it has finished running for the day. So um, make my way across the yard, be able to show you uh, a train from a very, very different era to what we're used to today. So have a look at sitting next to these lumps of coal. Look at that. something very different so that that was a, a good loco to ride behind it was my first winning steam loco of 2020 and only my second winning loco of 2020 my last loco i had um, was at hailing island so that was my only other winning loco so far 2020 if you want to see the one i had at hailing island have a look at another link on the screen now but there we are how's that for a train something very different that was first i assume that was the first class I was there, I was in the carriage called Brampton, which I suppose was second or third class, um, but it was fun for the, the short little trip. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'll show you a few other things, as there is, like I said, there is so much, I cannot possibly show you everything. Um, if we go around here, it's quite interesting, we can have a look at some examples of rolling stock, here's some wagons, and what we're going to do, we'll go in there, because they're are some interesting things there, so I'm just going to have to stop a moment while I put my face covering on to go inside. There we go, so let's have a look and see what is in here. Obviously you can't smell it, but there's a really nice smell of burning coal. But have a look in here. Here is another interesting old carriage, so that's the engine shed, so that's where the Puffing Billy replica will go when she's finished running for today. Here we have a um, stationary engine. There's a little office here. It looks like a model of the steam elephant, I think. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back out of here and um, I'll show you a few other things around the site. That was very interesting. I'm taking my face covering off. Um, they have now shut the yard up because I think they're putting the train away. So perhaps we'll see the train be put away. Um, what I, when I had my trip on the wagon way, I made a separate video. So if you have a look at the link on screen now, you can see that video. So I think the train has gone off now. Um, they might be putting it. They are going to be putting it away, but I think time's running out. So I'm going to have to have a look around the site. So I'm going to go now and uh, show you a bit more around Beamish. This is one of the many tram stops at Beamish. So the tramway forms a circular running all the way around the site and um, they're not running today, which I would be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. I am, you know, um, there might be a good reason why they're not running and with all the social distancing and the pandemic, although they were running buses. So yeah, um, don't like to be negative in my videos, but I, I can't really not say I'm not disappointed. I'm you know, quite disappointed the trams aren't running, but anyway, no doubt I'll probably come here again, so, you know, and I have had a ride on the wagon way, so that was good fun. So, you know, it's, it's been a really good day, but riding a tram would have just, like, made it a perfect day. So, um, yeah, so the tramway goes up there. I'm not going to walk all around there because, as I said, the tram's not running, so, um, you know, I'll take you through the woods. It's a pretty hot day today as well, so nice to walk through the woods. We're going to go and have a look at the colliery, and then um, we'll walk through... And my aim is basically to take you through the site back to the car. And um, I think probably what I'll do in the future, I'll come here again 
maybe another time I'll make videos just on the tramway. Um, maybe I'll just make a load of footage without me talking. I have to see really um, when I next come up here. But you know, it's been somewhere that's been on my list now for so long. I've always wanted to come here, and here I am. I'm finally here, and it was it was really nice to display my larder here today. Have all the public um, seeing it and everything, seeing all the other cars. So it was nice to see such interest taken, you know, in the Eastern Block cars. So, so that's been a really nice thing of today. Um, but as I said, a bit disappointed trams aren't running, but anyway, I won't keep going on about that because, you know, let's just focus on what we have got. So this is the colliery. Now earlier on, you could walk all around here, you could go up there. It looks like, um, can't complain this time they've closed it because like I said, most people have gone. Um, this is the end of the day. I couldn't really have made a video earlier in the day. It was so busy, which is good. Good to see it's busy, but um, it wouldn't have really work to have made videos. But you could go up there. So you can see the pit head gear. So there'd be a big steam engine in that building there. That's where the shaft would have been. And then there's a, this bridge would have carried the wagons out across there. So that's quite interesting. And down here, so this is the second railway of the day. We've seen the wagon way. Second and third, technically, because there's some system of two foot narrow gauge, and as you can see, there's a armoured diesel loco there. We're now going to walk across the standard gauge railway lines, and um, there is another steam loco I can show you. And in the engine shed up there, there's quite a few steam locos which I did go in earlier, so um, if we can't go in there now, it won't matter because I'll just have. I'll just put some pictures. If I, if I can, we can go in there, we will. Um, let's, let's, let's see. So this is the Colliery Village. Or the Colliery Village, technically it's just down there. Um, there's also the town. So there you are, there's an industrial steam loco. This whole area reminds me, last time I went to a colliery like this was Barnavici in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Um, that was great, seeing Kriegslox pulling out the colliery with a long, long train. Um, so... Yeah, that was the last time I came anywhere like this. So in that shed there, there are steam locos. What I'm going to do, because they've closed, I shall insert some pictures now. So there you are, there's some of the steam locus. We're now gonna walk through the colliery village and I'll show you a few things along there. Then we're gonna head up towards the town. Hopefully we'll be able to have a look at the other railway station that wasn't running. There's, um, there's a Methodist church. If you wanna see inside, here's some pictures. So there you go, that was the inside of the Methodist Church. These cottages are nice with their cottage garden. So I'm going to follow the road up here. This is the Beamish School. So again, I um, did go into school earlier on. So here's a picture of a classroom in the school. So there you go, there's a picture of the classroom in the school. So yeah, school is there. So the tramway, which circumnavigates the site, it runs around there. They, they were running buses. I did have a trip on the bus, although I only went halfway around the site because when he got there, he said, oh, we're terminating. And I said, can I have a ride back down to the town because he was going to pick another lot up? And he said, no, which... Um, seemed a bit unreasonable anyway I don't know why maybe he had a good reason but anyway there's another little narrow gauge railway in the middle of the site though there appears to be like another functioning farm that's kind of not part of the site which is um so it's, it's, it's an interesting place it covers a very vast area um and like I said because of the pandemic not everything's open I think as times gradually get back to normal I'd like to think you know um it will go completely back to normal and we will be able to have tram rides. I don't think all the railways possibly ever did run on one day. Um, 
So this is the colliery railway. The Sandy Gauge line comes to just down here. So this one doesn't ever do passenger rides. There's no station. It's whenever it does runs purely demonstrational. So I can't complain about not having a ride on that one. It's interesting, I don't know if you can see it, but down there, they appear to have laid some two foot narrow gauge in the middle of the standard gauge track. I did, as I said, in the engine shed, one of the locos we saw was a two foot narrow gauge. So as we come up here, up there is the home farm. So you get to see how a farm used to look. That way would take you back to the main entrance. I never actually saw the main entrance because I came with the Eastern Bot Club, Club so, um, you know, I didn't get a chance to see that. So there's a bus stop here, so some people are waiting to get a bus to get home or get back to the car park. It might be because it's the end of the day. They're using the buses to get everyone out, so they don't really want, um, you know, to take people in. If you look here, there's a sign that says trams run each direction every 20 minutes. Not today they didn't, but this is a passing loop here, so I suppose a tram would come, stop here, tram would come the other way, and they would pass each other. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to come back here when they're running the trams, because um, to me the trams, the trams are the most interesting feature they have here. This is the tram depot, um, which we can't really see much of, so I'm not actually going to Sorry to disappoint the viewers, but I'm, I'm, we're not going to go any closer to that because you can just glance in the door and you might, you can see. I got the numbers of a couple of the trams, but it's, it's not quite so interesting when you can't really see. But we can go in here into the bus garage. And these buses are really nice. Really nice. Um, again, it's probably because of COVID, so I can't complain too much, but... On a hot day like today, having a ride around the site, upstairs on, on one of those open top buses, that would be really, really nice. Maybe another time. I'm sure, you know, things will get back to normal and um, we'll be able to come to places like this again. So I'm going to head down. There's something just around the corner I would like to show you. So I should show that to you. And then um, my aim is to finish down by the town um, and then eventually we'll go and find my car. So the tramway goes this way, I'm going to walk along this path a little way and see what else we can find. I'm just up the path from here we have a couple of interesting things to see. We have this huge excavator, it's massive. This must have worked at one of the mines around here. It's pretty hard to convey just how big it is but maybe if I um, go to the bucket, the excavating bucket, and stand by it. Have you got any idea now how big this is? It's huge. You know, it, it's just, just massive. Is that one of the buses? Let's just go and see one of the buses go past. There goes a bus going past. It's an ex-Darlington bus. Now the other thing I was going to show you, I don't know too much about it, but it's um, a locomotive, so it's um, interesting. It's this little thing here. Little industrial electric loco. So it's just here on a plinth. It probably, I don't know too much about its history, but it probably worked in a colliery in the area. But that's um, quite a cool little thing. You can see the pantograph folded down on the top. You can see it says NCB, so National Coal Board. It was number two. So there's an electric loco. That's probably the only electric traction we'll see in this video. Um, right, what else have we got around here? Yes, there's a couple of things around here. Again, there's something else that's not running, but if it was running, it would be, you know, to me, as exciting as the trams. It'd be pretty amazing. Um, just go past here. Here we have a miniature railway, which unfortunately isn't running. It hasn't run for a while. Again, the pandemic's interfered and, you know, but if that was running, that'd be great. And it's, it's not any old miniature railway. It has a rack and pinion section, which I can't show you because it's right around the corner. But if you have a look here, we can just see. That one says Rotherham on the front. So as we come down this avenue 
down here. This is where the events field is, which is where the um, where we're having our rally, where all the Cornwall cars are, the Larders, Trabants, etc. It looks like some are starting to go, and it is the end of the day. So what we'll do, um, if we look over there, you can just see in the distance, Berg and Trabant, you can hear the two-stroke sounds. I'm going to continue down this end. the other end of Beamish. Now this is the town park and this is the town so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you around. I have a giant gun here. Show you the town and then we'll have a look at the other railway station and then like I said it's time for me to go. So it's it's quite nice at this time of day. Earlier on it was heaving which was great to see so many people enjoying themselves. Um, I had a there's a pub up here called the Sun Inn. I had a pint there. Well, you can actually sit inside. Had a pint and um, sat on the bench, and that was really enjoyable. I had to have it quite early in the day though, because driving home, I had to have it at sort of 11 o'clock. So it's way out of my system for when I go to drive. Right, this is here. We have a whole town set in the 1930s, which I think is really cool. Um, I didn't worry about one of the things I was quite happy to give a miss. I think I can live without some old fashioned sweets. So, yeah, cooperative. That's why I had a pint, so I'm in. It was quite interesting at the very beginning of the day, I had a look in some of these. So, there was a dentist and there was a solicitor, so you can go in the houses. So, there really is so much to do. I'd almost say, I mean, personally, I have found too much to do which is not a bad thing at all it's, it's good but um, there's just so much to see here i find i need more than a day here comes that darlington bus again two buses so yeah there's a lot a lot going on and um Today is a day where, you know, not everything is open. So I should think if you came here on a day when everything is open, I, I think I would need at least two days. And they are also building a whole 1950s town, which is going to have trolley buses. So, you know, that's really exciting. But I'm thinking, well, for me, I need another day. So I'm going to say when the new town is finished, the 1950s town is finished, you're going to need at least three days here. Today, I've just about seen everything I want to see. Um, so I suppose... I know I complained a bit earlier about the trams not running. If I want to put a positive spin on the fact that the trams weren't running, it's given me time to see everything else. So I think if the trams were running, I'd have spent a lot of time tram bashing and um, I just simply wouldn't have had time to see everything. So, yeah, I suppose it's not all bad that not everything was operating. There's also a fairground, um, which I, I didn't go in. I wouldn't have minded to go on the health skelter, but anyway, I, I didn't. There's a nice bridge here, though, over the railway line. And there is Rowley Station so sometimes they do rides from this railway station up another railway so this is more typical railway of the north east in Steam Day. so you get on a train there and it takes you up around the corner it goes for about a quarter of a mile half a mile so that, that's a that would be quite a nice ride but um, I think with this one yeah with social distancing I'm not sure what coaching stock they've got but I understand it's not easy so that's why that's not running um, so I have to come here again I have to come here like lots more times to do all of all these other railways they've got. It's um, it really is a great place, but like I said, you just need a long, long time to visit. And I've been here since nine o'clock this morning. The site opens at ten to visitors, but because I was displaying a car, we had to be in by nine forty-five um, with our cars displayed. So I um, I, ha I had extra time as well. And I haven't seen anything, so you know that, that that's a good thing that there's that much here to see. Um, you know that you need that long anyway. We're going to have a look at the railway station, which is down here onto the platform. So we're not going to catch a train here, but we can have a look. This station building, the name has slipped my mind, but I'm going to put it on screen now. That is where this station came from. So it's taken down brick by brick and rebuilt here. There we have the goods yard, 
and um, yeah that's looking looking up the hill which um, when trains are running you get to ride on there's the ticket office so, I think what I'm going to do though like I said um, it's the end of the day so I am going to um, I was going to go out there, they've locked that gate. I was going to go over the bridge. I'm going to have to go back out the way I came. So, I think really now time has come to end this video. So, from a railway station, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do come and visit Beamish. Although, the one thing I'd say, if you want a particular to do a particular thing, say like the tramway, perhaps check their running. Um, I mean, I came for the Eastern Block car running, so I was going to come no matter what's running. But yeah, if you do want to do the trams or a particular railway, get a particular loco, it might just be worth ringing them and seeing if they can tell you first uh, before making the trip. That's the only thing I would say. Other than that, I really have had a great day um, and there's really so much to see. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from Rowley Station at Beamish. Thank you very much. Goodbye.